Now moving on to understand about the pipelines. Pipelines in India, prior to this, they were used to transport water to the cities. Afterwards, the technology has developed and now we are using to transport crude oil using the pipelines, then natural gas and now we also can transport the solid materials making them slurry and using the pipelines. The negative effects are like initially when you start a pipeline it is basically very costly. So initial investment to make a pipeline is really very costly. But later on afterwards you can transport any item at very less cost without any loss and the maintenance would be minimal. These are the positive edges of pipelines. Pipelines were initially used to transport water in the cities but later with the growth of technology and advancements we are now using to transport crude oils and natural gas and now solids slurry. Uh, when you make the solids to be slurry automatically you can make them to transport through the pipeline. So, we can also transport water, we can transport oil, we can transport gas, we can transport the solids by making them slurry items and then the investment may be initially to make a pipeline was costly but later the loss would be very less, the delay would be very less because we do not have any traffic issues there, you do not have any vehicle delays, you do not have anybody not present to take all these things but directly you can transport any material like water, petrol, gas, natural gas or the usable solids also making them slurry and transport them. And in India we have nearly three important networks of pipelines in India. One is from Assam to Kanpur where you transport the petroleum crude oil. Then Salia to Punjab we transport again the petroleum crude oil. And now we also have gas Hazaria to Jagadishpur. The Hazaria to Jagadishpur is a pipeline which is transporting gas through this. So we are also having a plan to get uh, pipeline from uh, petrol from Iran to India via through the states of Afghanistan, Pakistan and India. So we are also having a pipeline project which is his fastest means of transport without any delays, without any loss which can be caused and the transportation also can be initially it may be costly as we discussed earlier but once the pipeline has been implemented and started functioning. It makes the work very fast and very effectively in regards to delivery and in regards to shipment of the products. So it's very very important to have a good connectivity of pipeline networks which can transport oil, water, gas and any other solids which are made into the slurry projects. In India we have three major important networks like covering Assam to Kanpur, Assam in the northeast to Kanpur in UP, Salia and Punjab, Haryana to Punjab regions and gas Hazaria to Jagadishpur in the northern parts where it is very very important and very useful for transferring natural crude oils and also the natural gas. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.